Okay. I am keeping it censored. I plead the fifth. <laughs> keeping it censored. Okay, guys. <laughs> this episode of What's the Recipe is brought to you by The Den, which if you're watching on YouTube is where we are right now. It is a coffee shop and family social club located in Denver that is lovingly designed for both adults and children in mind and aims to provide a supportive and dignified experience for anyone navigating the parenthood journey. You guys... If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you've totally seen me post pictures here. I practically live here because it is just such a godsend. I'm so excited to be here in the winter. It's just such a nice place to bring the kids, especially when you have cabin fever and you want to mingle with other like-minded people and surround yourself with good coffee, good tea, good conversation. And it's just so nice to have a place that has really good community, especially as a mom and a parent when it can feel really isolating. So if you stop by the den, you can mention code recipe and then you can get 20% off of a drink or an entry and uh, come check out the place. It's going to be really fun. I really can't get you out of this place. No, I, I, live, I live here. But I spend a lot of money here too. <laughs> thank you so much, Jack and Chandler. We love you um, and really appreciate you letting us use your space. Thank you. With that said, guys... We have Miss Sydney Adams and Jason King. I'm going to give you guys a little formal intro before we kick it off. Sydney Adams is an online fitness coach and social media influencer who has over a million followers across all social platforms. Dude, what? She is helping women far and wide feel like more confident and healthy versions of themselves through her content on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, as well as her various training programs. Jay is a real estate agent, online fitness coach, and influencer, and these two are just such a power couple, which is why we wanted to get them on the podcast to ask them, what is the recipe? Were you, like, loving the influencer Our type? Our woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bam, bam, bam. yeah, right. Influencer. <laughs> I'd you forgot, to, well. you I, forgot to mention Jay's an absolute stallion as well, and my best friend ever. So. <laughs> ever. BFF. So I want to kick this off by, like, we have to explain why the heck we all know each other. And I think it's so cool that, I mean, we say this all the time, you guys have the best of friends, you guys got so lucky in college, but you guys explain, explain how you guys know each other. Yeah, I'll kind of start this off and I'll let Jay put in his two cents but it all really does stem from from Pensacola, Florida, from going to college together. But it all really started playing college football together. Mm -hmm. And there's a funny story that Jay also loves to tell because I feel like this is like a core memory of how he even began to know me. But it all stems from uh, fall camp. We all know if you're an ex-college football player, fall camp is an intense time. And it was one of the first days of fall camp ever where each of us are sort of introducing each other or introducing ourselves to the team. You know, by position group, offensive line goes. Then like it's icebreakers. Kind of, yeah, icebreakers yeah. like, yeah. hey, this is who I am. This is where I'm from. <laughs> and, uh, and then it's, you know, time for my group to go. And of course I'm shit nervous. Like this is, I don't know what I'm gonna say. Um, and I introduce myself, you know, my name is Lucas Fowler. I'm from Orlando, Florida, and our area area code in Orlando is 407. So for some <laughs> reason, I didn't even think about this before introducing myself, and I was like, "Shout out 407!" You know, I'm Lucas <laughs> Fowler. Hand up. Yeah, and, and I think Jay immediately was like, "I mean, you bro, I, I looked over. <laughs> I looked over, and I heard shout out 407. I was just like, dude, who is this douchebag?" <laughs> Mind you, it's like, it's, it's everyone. It's everyone in the entire, you know, room, every, the whole team. And we're all like, hey, my name's Jason King. I'm from Vero Beach, Florida. Um, I play linebacker. And I think it was like something just interesting about yourself. I have to be the guy that says 407. And Jay's like, this guy sucks. Who oh, is my. this guy? And then, you know, a couple of weeks go by. Jay comes and visits. We have mutual friends on the team. Jay mm -hmm. comes and visits me and my roommates in our freshman dorm. We share a whole bottle of Tito's together, <laughs> and the, the rest, rest is, is history. history. <laughs> the rest is history. We used to call it Here Big T, are. Big T back in the Big day. Big T, and I'm oh. pretty sure there was a, yeah, there was a time there I was the only one that could buy it. Yeah, you were. So yeah, you're I'm, a big bro. Big bro. They're just like, hey Jay, what you doing tonight? What's one of your fondest memories of us 
you know, in our freshman dorm, taking on Big T. Like, what do you remember of those days? Just absolutely <laughs> getting maybe two drinks in. First, what comes to my mind when I think of that is, um, what are they called? Uh, the drinks you would make. Um, uh, oh, the Moscow Mules. Mules. Moscow I, was Mas- Mules. I was Moscow every, Mule. Man. Every, every time. Every time. That's a big one. But then also just like getting two, two drinks deep and then everyone just, music goes up and everyone is <laughs> and just. And then we're running sprints in the hallway. Running sprints in the hallway. <laughs> just, I don't know how, you know, we never got in trouble. Classic. Yeah, great yeah so that's the origin. You guys go way back. And then we were way attached way to the hip all four years of college. Yep. Could not separate us. And then I want to know how you two met because when did you guys meet? We met, I think I had lived in Florida for what, three weeks? I moved from Alabama to Florida and I originally was just going to like typical crunch because that's where I came from and then I went by LA Fitness yep. and wait this reason, is only three weeks after you moved this question. was literally right after I moved yeah I think Whoa. I didn't know anyone you're the first person I met and yeah. what that yeah I think crazy. I met my friend Steph but we had known each other on social media and like you were the first person the story met. it's, it's wild. And this is a weird this is weird but what's even weirder is I was in slides like I was not going to the gym or anything and I was like I think I'm just gonna go and sign up at LA Fitness it was the weirdest thing I've never been in an LA Fitness literally when in there and got a like a membership and then the next day I was there and I we had seen each other a couple times and like I didn't know you had seen me but I was like oh my gosh she's like such a good looking guy but I (laughs) had a mustache at the time and like you I I thought he had 10 years on me okay I really what is what are your what are your thoughts on the mustache because I want to climb him like a tree when I have when I have he has a mustache like I love a mustache it was all I knew and I thought you're very handsome yeah so I mean I, you she were, also you, apparently uh, thought you were 37 I years did. Old. I thought you were a very handsome, um, old wise man. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's going to have some salt and pepper hair. So, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm really, though, I really did think you were very cute. And, like, we would make eye contact. And we, you know, yeah. or at least I thought. And then um, a couple days after, I guess maybe like a week after, I don't know. And then we kind of made small talk. Do you want to tell the story about yeah, at the, he's yeah. better at it because cur- I was kind of clueless. Did the, <laughs> yeah. small talk, talk, did the small talk start with you? No, bro. You know me. I'm shy as hell. I feel it like kind of know, that really? Neither of us. Yeah. Neither I'm of us shy. approached each other. Though. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell my side. So all of a sudden I just see this beautiful blonde hair, blue eyed girl show up at LA fitness. LA fitness was my stomping grounds. I'm there. Is every that the one day. that we worked out yes. at when I was in Tampa? The yeah. Two story? Oh yeah, yeah. That one's yeah, beautiful. It's, it's so I moved to Tampa and just right away I started going to LA fitness. So I was there. I knew kind of everyone in the gym, but then I just see her pop up out of nowhere. So I'm like, okay, let me not get my hopes up. She's probably just visiting in town. She, I probably won't see her again. You say who that is. So <laughs> then kept seeing her, kept seeing her. Um, and then I'm like, you know, obviously in the gym, like I'm noticing her, I'm thinking about her and I'm just like, there's no way she, one, isn't married or doesn't have a boyfriend. Just way too beautiful. It's like, there's just no way. Right. It's a pretty common thought. So then I remember there was one day she was over, we were both doing back and she was over on the, um, seated row machine and I was just like at the cables and I remember pulling out her tripod, setting it up and, you know, she was like filming herself I'm just over there and I'm just, I'm watching her and we, we kind of make eye contact and we just kind of smile at each other. No biggie. Wait, what are your thoughts when, when you see her whip out the tripod? Because I wonder that too, if I'm like ever filming myself in the gym, like what are people thinking? I, I love, I love the notion. I love how you just went, yo, I'm putting yeah. my fucking tripod just, I'm up. I'm doing it. You know? I'm doing it. And I, you learned an exercise from me when I was doing that of one. Yeah, she, she said was doing, doing wide it grip. after that. Uh, so, so, like, so was this before you guys even Yeah, talked? we hadn't met. You oh, told so you me noticed Jay added something to no, his No, he told me. Yeah, he told yeah. So there's the, um, you know, there's the wide grip and the row here, but she was using the, what is it called? Like the... Um, neutral grip? The, the equipment, yeah, for the neutral grip here. Wide, wide grip. So I'd never thought about using that. So I actually, I think like the Immediate, next week, this is the girl for me. Yeah, I, I went over so and I tried it. I was girl like, I was like, damn, something. that kind of hits, you know, an area I've never <laughs> felt. But what do you think about the tripod? Part? The tripod, I didn't think anything of it, to be honest with you. I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, sometimes during that time, I would whip out like my phone. Right. I didn't, I didn't have a tripod, but I would set it up just to check my form. Well, Jay, I also used to follow you back when you had your like OG fitness Jay page, Fit. Jay King Fit. Fit. Page. So like, yeah, I don't think it was I weird to you. I forgot about that. It wasn't weird. You've I've always recor- kind of been. been yeah, you have. For yeah. a long time. Jay King Fit. I should okay, never. I'll tell the story about the, se- <laughs> the wall sits then. Yeah, or yeah, you can Is tell your side. Is that account even still alive? 
No. You deleted it? I, I still have it, but I don't post it. No, what I have, deleted that one, started a real estate one, turned the real estate one into a new fitness one, never posted to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So He made um, his one account, the, yeah, all, can, all the things. <laughs> um, so I was doing legs and I was doing a wall sit. Long story short, because it's kind of a long story, a little bit. But Whoa, I, was doing, I was doing wall sits and you okay I would first I was at a different bench and then I moved over and he was at the bench right next to where I moved to right (laughs) and so um I didn't think anything of it and like in his head he later on told me like wait she just picked up and moved over here but I I needed a wall I was was doing wall sits okay I was like yeah she noticed me that's why she came closer (laughs) so I'm doing these wall sits and I realized that like he he's put his weights up and he sat back down and he doesn't have weights and he's just sitting there. And I'm thinking in my head as I'm in a wall set, Oh no, this guy's going to say something to me. Like what he's going to say. And it wasn't like a, I don't want him to talk to me, but it was like, what right. is he going to say? So I'm like, I'm just going to keep doing a wall set. I don't know. What's yeah. happening. Like, I'm going to, until my legs like, fall I'm off. I'm going to show yeah. this guy how long I can wall sit. <laughs> I'm like, we even does wall sit. I don't even do whatever. Okay. Anyways, yeah, that's my thought. Right. <laughs> Anyways, Hashtag bring back the wall. Bring right? him back. back yeah, bring suits. him back. Um, and so I finally like stand up. And the second I stand up, he goes and gets the weights. I'm literally blocking. I'm like in the way of the heavier weights. Is that why you got the heavy weights? Because I was blocking them. But um, and so Maybe. I stood up and I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, I was just taking my sweet old time and I'm right in your way. And you like took your headphone out and you're like, what? And I was like, I'm taking my sweet old time. Sorry about that. Didn't realize like I was in your way. And then you said, I was like, oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. And we kind of just like that awkward like giggle, like uh, like we both wanted to yeah. like you know start yeah. the conversation, <laughs> right? But who's gonna start it? Yeah. So then I was just like, uh, I don't know why this came to my <laughs> so mind. So do you like mac and cheese? No. <laughs> Close to <laughs> that. Like, yeah. Uh, did Did you play sports? Yeah. You said <laughs> yeah. That. yeah. That's I'm the like, first thing yeah. I said. No, I mean I respect it. No. Girl, I, right? It's I mean, yeah. from then though, I said I played soccer, and like from then we rattled off like, oh, where are you from? Where'd you go to college? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were the, I mean, we, the first we question's not the most said, important. No. Yeah, we probably like rattled off like three different questions yeah. to each other, and then we saw each other the next couple of days, and every time we'd talk a little a little bit more I think like more. kind of you know hey how you doing whatever and then you came over to the to me at the turf we started like actually chatting and then you came down when I was at the treadmill and Walked we with kept making bit. conversation and I said I said I was new there and that I really just go to coffee shops work go on walks whatever and he was like well if you ever want to if you ever want to go on a walk or go to a coffee shop sometime yeah. let me know I love to work for a coffee shop let I me yeah, it. and then let me take it from here. So then I had I had, it, I don't want to c- say a game, sure, yeah. but I had it. I knew I knew I didn't just want to ask for her number the first day, so it was like I'm gonna give it like you know maybe right. You, really care, you really cared about this. Yeah, like, you were like man, I exactly. I really actually am super interested in this girl. Exactly, like, you were really you didn't want to come meticulous. off too strong. Yeah, so, so I was happens. like I'm gonna give it you know a week and a half. When it happens, it happens. Um, so then, yeah, she was like, I love working at Armature Works and you, you guys have been there love and I'm like, Hey, same, you know, I'm always in the area. Next time you go, let me know. And I think by that time we had followed each other on Instagram. Yeah. Because then like I was over in that area and I saw she went and didn't invite me. So then I was like, wow. I was like, this is all in my head. Mm. I'm like, she, she's not even into me, mm. not even into me. So then, um, yeah, then after that, surely, you know, we exchanged numbers and here yeah. we are. I gave him my phone number. I said, yeah, we should go on a walk. Uh, uh, here's my phone. Or what's your phone number? And yeah. I really was shocked. I was like, wait, did I actually just do that? Um, but our first night we ever hung out, we went on a walk and we walked for like seven miles straight and like wow. talked. Just I feel like talks. I knew so much about you after one night. Mm-hmm. Like we just like held nothing back and like talked about past relationships. We talked about family. We talked about yeah. college and you know what we're interested in and like just all what we want to do in the future. And if we want kids and like, I mean just like everything, we just kind of like chatted about yeah. every topic. That's, that's when you know that it's really worth it. And that's when you know it's special. Well, and that was my question too. Cause we'll get into now you guys are engaged and yeah. we'll get mm-hmm. into the proposal. We'll get into wedding things in a minute. But I think the number one question that we get asked is like, how do you know that yeah. the person right. is the one? So yep. like, I want to ask you guys that too. What do you think was different about this time? Like, how did you know? Oh, it's actually like, I always heard people say, when you know, you know, yeah. and I was kind of, okay, whatever, you know, that doesn't actually happen. I genuinely left the first night hanging out with you and I 
without a doubt in my mind. Oh, yep. oh, and I really did. And I, 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 and, and I remember I said to him, we were in the car and I said, I was like, just so you know, I, I, I don't like hanging out all the time. I like to be by myself a lot. I respect that. I so, like, yo, yeah. I'm an individual. I'm actually a grandma. Right. I actually, <laughs> so yeah, healthy. I was like, we can hang here and there, you know, whatever, but don't expect us to like, oh, I don't think we left each other's side. No. We, I mean, of course we had time apart, but like we actually saw each other every single day at least for a little bit after that because I just didn't want to be away from you. Yeah. I really didn't. And um, I felt like right away we just knew each other for 10 years, even though it was like a Absolutely. month at that point. Yeah, yeah I, can, um, I can say the same. It was, you know, just kind of didn't want to be away. And I'm a lot like how, you know, she was describing. I don't, like, give me my space. Yeah. You know, like I can be into you we can, you know, hang out and whatnot. I, I love, you know, being around you, but I need my space. But I just wanted to, I wanted every second to be with her. And the, then mm. it was also, um, <clears throat> you guys know, like I, I used to go out a lot. I used to enjoy my yeah. party yeah, phase no, and everything. Yeah, for sure. And I also As know all you did. to be, honestly, the, probably the best judge of character, like right. out of any human being I know, like, you and your judge of character, mm -hmm. like your gut will tell you real quick about a human Absolutely. being. And, and you know that, like that is very simple for you. Absolutely. And I, that, and I respect you a lot in that manner. Yeah. So as soon as I, I'm, I mean, I'm sure as soon as that conversation, as soon as, you know, a simple walk turned into seven miles turned into, we just spoke to each other about our entire life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know yeah. what that feeling you get from that, like, yeah. and it wasn't forced. Person. It wasn't forced at all. So, um, that was huge as well because, I mean, you can go on a seven-mile walk and you can, you know, force a conversation. Yeah. Like, none of the conversation, like, we just, I'm not just going to willingly walk seven miles. I mean, yeah. that's yeah. far And shit. you are also someone that's like, yo, if I'm not feeling this conversation, um, exactly. I got to yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I also that, think that speaks to the fact that you guys both were pretty sure of who you were. Because mm -hmm. I think it's hard for people to be like, oh, like... I'm going to be so honest or I'm going to, like, show all my cards when they might not know who they are either. So... Do you feel like knowing who you guys were gave you that confidence to be like, I do like my alone time. And I, this is kind of everything that I, you know, I'm going to put all myself out there. So you know what you're getting into. Do you think oh, a million percent. And I also was at a spot in my life that I thought anyone coming into it would get in my way. Like yeah. I really did. I was like, I, I mean, you guys know who I am, like how I am. I'm very much a uh, structure like everything to be kind of the way I want it to be and I, I honestly most men would kind of get in the way because not many guys in their 20s are going to come in and just mesh with that right like I right. don't drink I don't go out I don't I don't want to like spend my weekends doing what a lot of other people do and it's hard to bring someone else into that and then honestly like the second we met I thought we just mesh with each mm -hmm. other's lives. You are, we met early in the morning at a gym. So that's a good way to know mm -hmm. that we like the same things. We're both early morning people. Yeah. You were kind of talking about, um, like what you were like before we dated, I think you were saying, right? Yeah. I was, I was just kind of touching on, um, I think it was Jay like, was going to yeah, say, like your it's, confidence it's very, going it into it. You didn't very look easy for, for Jay. If it didn't work out, like it was very easy for Jason when he met someone to immediately know yeah. after 30 seconds of a conversation, if it's worth his time or not. Yeah. Right. What you had said that when you going into that, like you were not looking for anything. Either. I wasn't at all. I was, I was at a point where like I was in a way trying to stay away from anything serious. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I wasn't looking for it whatsoever. I didn't want anything close to it. Um, so yeah, it just, I mean, and it just happened. Like it was something that I couldn't, I couldn't push it away. I couldn't stop it. I just felt that I felt the feeling and here we are. Yeah. Engaged. Engaged. And speaking of engaged, let's talk about the proposal. Congrats, yeah. you guys. Thank you. I need to know because you are such a planner, structure, person, routines. Did you have any idea? You know, I'm actually a little <laughs> embarrassed that I knew nothing. <laughs> I'm wow. like, okay, I am, am I clueless? Like, I must be. That means Jay did a good job. Jay no, you did, did a fabulous job. job. That was job. my first thought. Planned and killed it. I also hate secrets. I hate surprises because Same, I yeah. am like, I'd say, okay, just tell me. Like, I just want to know. Like, if I had any idea, 
that, you know, leading up to it, like months mm-hmm. in advance. That I didn't even know he had a ring. I didn't even know that he went and bought a, like that he was looking to buy a ring. We had talked about kind of like the style of ring and I didn't even know my ring size. But that one time we had looked at rings like you, we had them tell me what size yeah. my ring finger was. I was walking out of the... I can see it from here. <laughs> I was going to lean in to see that Walking thing. out of the jewelry store after we sized her ring, um, and I was just six, six, six. Just then whipped yeah. out my phone and typed it in my notes yeah. real quick. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't forgetting that. No. Yeah, it was pretty special. Even the day of, though, like leading up to it, we he had like a... I'm sure you guys have seen the videos and stuff, but like he had everything documented which is the coolest thing to look back at because since yeah. I'm so, I've always loved videos and photos and whatnot. And the fact that he did that and put so much time and effort into it, like it wasn't just thrown together. It was just like the most special thing. Yeah. What Pretty made impressive. You, what made you go, like, how did you do that, Jay? Like, what made you think, I want to do this on the beach. What made you think about the, you know, the flowers and the sand? Mm-hmm. Like, where did you? Yeah, like walk us through the. You have a Pinterest board. Yeah. Like, what's, what's what, <laughs> what was the recipe of your of your proposal? The recipe of the proposal was honestly, first and foremost, it just came from knowing how special um, I wanted to make it for her. Yeah. You know, I wanted it to be the most important day, one of the most important days for her. You know, in her mm-hmm. life. So. With that being said, I just knew that I had to go above and beyond for it. Um, and with that, I had met, you know, some really cool people. Um, some people, you know, that work within the photography field. And I had honestly trusted them enough um, and still do that. You know, I was able to let them in on it. Like, hey, I'm looking to do this. Mm. And I will say that they helped me a ton. Did I could, they give you ideas? Yeah, I, I couldn't have done it without them. Um, to answer one of the questions, the beach I mean, living in Florida, I just, I couldn't. You have to. Yeah. She, if we went out, you know, in the middle of the country and I took her to an open field, she'd she be would, like, she'd probably what know what too. the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah. Murdering me or so, you proposing yeah. me? Where's yeah. the bug spray? Exactly. Yeah. So I figured the way to go was, um, we do our daily, um, date, we do our n- weekly date nights on Fridays. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, weekly date nights on Friday. So I was just like, okay, let me book a reservation over on the beach. And then after it'll end at a, you know, good time for pictures. Mm, we all know she mm-hmm. loves her pictures. So, um, sunset and everything. So I was just like, Hey, after dinner, you know, let's go take some pictures on the beach. Sure enough. Um, yeah, we got it all figured out. The flowers came from an idea with one of the, um, what do you call them? A florist? Yeah. Florist. Yeah, that is so, correct. Florist. Yeah. That's just kind of, um, I mean, yeah. I don't who was, well, the, guy, who had, was the photographer yeah. that you used? So his name is Scott. Scott Stockston. I Scott, think that's how you shout say out it. Scott Stockston. Yeah. Scott and then Paige. Uh, shout out Paige as well. So I think what was so great about it, though, is that although I wanted it documented, I didn't want it to be in front of all of our friends and family. And I feel like you yeah. also probably didn't want to be the one documenting it. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. 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 And But like to have... We, we have very few moments that it's just us two yeah. because, you know, we do love like going out and doing things with our mm-hmm. friends and family. And I have family pretty close by. So even though we had something, a little thing afterwards, like just having that moment where we didn't have to like go and hug anyone yes. right after we had this moment of like, it's just us. Like we right. just get to like have a car ride after and we're just we're engaged like it's that cool is, yeah what a what an incredible moment after the engagement just the two of you too like, right it's like yeah. jay did you ever consider including her family in on it i did i because i do remember us having that conversation and yep. i remember you telling me that you were really you know struggling with going back and forth of should her family be there or should they not be there yeah. and then you're just like f it like it's yeah. just going to be the two of us. I wanted it, yeah, to be personal. Uh-huh. Um, just with everything that was going into it. And, yeah, it was just, I mean, I think it turned out perfect. I did want them to be there. But then, you know, it just was like, let's just keep this personal. And it's so hard to we, choose who to include. Right. It's exactly. like you're not going to have a whole watch party. Then you yeah. know what's going on. I think that, yeah, I think there are very mixed reviews. Like some people are like, they have to be there. Other people yeah. are like, no. I think it's it's so nice to just have that be like a special moment between yep. you two. For sure. And then after an engagement comes a wedding. 
which oh, you guys got to give me the whole rundown of, of the wedding situation. First of all, are you guys, is there a planner? Are you guys yes. stressed about it? Like, what's the vibe? Oh my gosh, thank goodness. <laughs> wedding <Yeah>. planner. <laughs> I would actually have gray hair right now if we didn't have a wedding planner. Yeah. And is I'm, it something that you guys wanted to like, kind of post, like, let's postpone the conversation or were you, were you immediately, immediately like, okay, what are we doing for a wedding? Oh, I was immediately. The next yeah. day I said, wow. so what state are we thinking? <laughs> and Jay's and like, can we like be engaged for a second? I, I remember, I, I literally said, babe, can we just, like a month? Let's, just, let's, just, let's just enjoy engagement for a month. Actually the next day. <laughs> but yeah, she, she was ready to jump on it. I'll I, say I don't have an ounce of stress, though. I really good. don't. Yeah. We A wedding planner, although it definitely, it kind of was like either we do a very intimate destination wedding or we have a wedding planner because yeah. I know that I, you probably wouldn't, but I would probably ruin our wedding just because, or for myself, because I'd be so stressed out. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Is everything perfect? Now we can kind of go through it and like, they'll tell us where we need to be and when choose right. those things and then like hands off and yeah. gosh, it's hard to beat that really. Yeah. I will say one of the, I, the stressful point for me is the list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The invites. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe I do have it's, an ounce of stress. That is always, uh, that yeah, is, that's always a thing. I mean, I'm still working on mine. We kind of, we, we did them separate and then we're going to bring them both together and kind of, you know, put question marks where they need to be and everything. But that is what's stressful for me right now. Because it's a pretty small wedding. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Vibe is small wedding. Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Is, is it in Florida? Did you consider it to be in Florida? Were you immediately like, I want to make this a destination? What states were you guys thinking? Yeah, we had um, not just the states. We had different, but we were like thinking maybe we want to do it. In. I was just keep me out of Florida. Yeah, yeah. Like, we didn't sweating want on my yeah. wedding day. <laughs> yeah. You got me messed up, my boy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the the yeah. very first thing that would piss me off. Everyone listening to this has been to a wedding that has Bro. been hot <laughs> as hell. It's too. awful. Yeah. No, it's I mean, not fun. Yeah. So we're I'm from Michigan, so we're doing it in Michigan, mm -hmm. which I. Um, just brought Jay back to Michigan for our... Was that your first time going back to yeah. Michigan? First time ever <gasps> and fell in love with it. Okay, well, I was oh, talking to Cindy too. I feel like you're like me. Every city you go to, you're like, I'm moving here. Yeah. Tomorrow. Like, hey, get babe. on Zillow. Get on Zillow right now. Like, I'm always <laughs> like, hey, babe, I mean, you could see yourself living here, right? <laughs> I mean, just like a two-bedroom apartment. It'll be our second home. No, that's what we say for everything. We're like, we have 43 <laughs> second homes yeah. now planned for the next <laughs> yeah. couple of years. But but Denver, Colorado is the first one. It, yeah. Of course, yeah. The yeah. first one. That's yeah. number one on the Jay list. Jay and I went on a 40-mile bike ride this morning. No, yeah. not 40. No. Was, the number keeps growing. <laughs> yeah, embellisher. <laughs> we did 21.1 one miles this morning and i was yeah. like let's it's round it 65 up 65 miles <laughs> i was like let's round it up to 22 and jay's like let's round it up to 25 25 <laughs> i get in the car like, we just rode 30 miles I'm like wow i did you start your watch late i'm like look over yeah that's crazy it's still there it's yeah. still there he's keeping that there for yeah, from now on me and jay just want to be those old heads with the whole like body suit you know the tight body suits with the butt pads yeah. you know yep. biking up the mountains hey. that's yeah. a yes. we had That's great a conversation biking today we did oh. <laughs> yeah, yelling I mean, at each other or what <laughs> well no. a lot of it i feel like was sort of uphill in yes. ways but a lot of it was also downhill but on the on the uphill luckily our bikes um had the what's the term the gears the gears mm -hmm. and we were just kind of just Coasting. gearing right next to each other you know yeah. Aww. um but yeah i just had to throw that in there um but Michigan, I've n personally never been to Michigan, and I've heard it is such a beautiful state. Yep. Did you feel that way when you when you went? I did. I did. Um, and we drove a ton. Yeah. It. Um, saw a couple venues. Yeah, we saw a couple venues, and like, I mean, it was three hours here, two hours here, you know, hour and a half here. So I was able to see kind of you know a good amount of the state and gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'm a sucker for open fields. Yeah. Mm. And just like that country vibe and just all the land. So a lot of what I saw was was just that. So I mean, you can imagine me. Hey, you trying to move here? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it was amazing. They got you know a bunch of like the smaller towns, small towns as well. Sucker for. I them. love a small town vibe. Love a small oh, town. it's such a small town. I, I, I want to be the youngest person there. Yeah, if same. you're not 65 and up. And but I'm, I also want to like know my neighbors and right, like have yeah. a, maybe like a cul-de-sac for my kids to play in, That's or like true. be able to walk to a coffee shop, like. I like that vibe so much more than a big city. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. infiltrate the local government. Um, you know, <laughs> let's become the mayor, possibly. Okay. 
I know you went to New York mm -hmm. to get your wedding dress. Yes. One, did you found it also, or did you find it also? Two, what did you think of New York? Wasn't that like your first time there? Yes, I went to New York on the worst weekend ever. It was actually. <laughs> oh yeah, you. Yeah. Oh my god, you won't. You were there during the flood. Yes, I um I stepped foot out of the hotel once, and that was to the to the bridal store. Yeah, but you know I will go back for fitting. So I did find a dress, and it was um. Honestly, like I know nothing about New York now because I didn't get to get to really experience it. But um, yeah, we were there when like the floods hit and like all of the airports were getting shut down and we're thinking, are we even going to be able to leave? It was like state of emergency. Crazy enough. We were actually supposed to have um, a little boutique place later on in the day to find the wedding dress. And I like last second uh, made an appointment at Kleinfeld's, which mm. is a different uh, place for that morning. And I ended up finding a dress there. Yeah. And then the, the later on appointment canceled because of the flood. So we would have been there and, For no, it, yeah. and would have had to turn around without getting a wedding dress. It always yeah. works out that way. Okay. Were you always like as a little girl, did you always envision like your wedding, like the day that you picked out your wedding dress? Like, were you like that? Kind of. I mean, of course, like every girl has like a Pinterest board and like right. you're excited about it and everything. But like, I honestly like never really thought too deep into what my wedding would be like I had a good amount of years in there where I didn't think I'd even get married I just was like eh whatever you yeah. know that like we all go through stage that stage in your life you're like we <laughs> yeah. literally don't need a man I like you <laughs> get out of my way yeah right and then I met you oh yeah right that was the yeah. exact time where I'm like absolutely no and then, yeah um but I didn't I didn't really ever like think that much about like that special moment yeah. um but I did have like my grandma there my mom there and then my best friend and then my sister was on FaceTime uh Aww. my nephew was sick but he she was on FaceTime and like it was really special to have that time and like my grandma ended up telling me it was like one of the best days of her life and Aww. like I she said what's like, her name what do you call her I call her Mimi Mimi yes Mimi. That's I know what our, 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 that's what, that's uh, what you guys Lennox will call oh. will call my mom Mimi yeah. oh yeah. my yeah. god Mimi. his mom is Mimi so we are uh, keeping that trend alive yes I love, I love it that's a special moment right there oh I literally I turned around I'm like okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay oh and my mom cried when I put on the dress so what was crazy is so you um, go into a different room to try on dresses and then you go and you show your people the dress, right? So like you have a second to look at it before having other people's faces to yeah. show like what they think about it. And I said to the girl when I put the dress on and I had just tried on a dress where I walked out there and they were all like, that is the most beautiful dress, whatever. No one made a reaction. Yeah. Uh, like crying, but they were like, that is the most beautiful dress. Yeah. So it's hard. And they're going to say, they said, it's going to be hard to beat that. So then we go in and I put on the dress and it was like this moment of like, I, this is going to be the dress like this is, but I walked out there without, I had a straight face. I'm like, I'm not going to, I'm just going to see what they say. My mom starts like her eyes. She just like chilled. takes her glasses off. And like, my mom doesn't really like cry yeah, like that, yeah. that much. So it was, and I like turned around I'm like, yeah, okay, well this is it. <laughs> so yeah, That's it fun. was, it was pretty cool. And I'm like not showing anyone. Like I'm not yeah. showing like even some of my bridesmaids. So as you should. Yeah. And yeah. so it's going to be just because it's a small wedding. So it's going to be cool to have that. Being. Here's yeah. my thing too. I think the trend these days with, with weddings, it, it's also part of like the orchestration of it where like you need to get the pictures before the wedding so you can enjoy the reception and all the things. But like part of what, makes a wedding special in my opinion is having like you be the first person to like or walking down the aisle and having everyone have that special moment of like yeah. seeing you for the first time in your dress like yeah that is so cool yeah. I'm so happy you're like not showing anybody because that's yeah. such a moment yeah we actually are going back and forth about the first look thing like yeah. we're uh, I'm torn because it's like well, when it's, can, our, I give, it, can I give yeah. you my two cents yeah tell me uh I honestly hate the tradition of the first look I always yeah. thought it was special for, and this is just my opinion, yeah. obviously. I always thought it was special for right there, Jay's in front of everyone. He hasn't seen you all day and then sees you for the first time walking down that right. aisle with your, I just feel like that would it's be. such a moment. Yeah. It is That's though, but it yeah. is He's like. crying, I'm fucking yeah. crying. <laughs> but it is <laughs> logistics and like you want the good pictures. You want to be able, because right. then the true. other the other option is doing it after the wedding and then it kind of holds up like the cocktail party. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it, whatever you want, like do you want, do you care more about the flow or do you care more about like having that moment? It's special either way. It is. And also I feel like we do all the girls photos yeah. ahead of time, you know, whatever. And all the guys do their yeah. photos and then we can have some photos in between and like, we'll get great photos. I want a lot of the photos to not be posed and to just be in our wedding and at a reception. Right. I yeah. think that's going to be, um, 
I've kind of been saying first look because it's a night, it's an evening wedding and I'm like, ugh, going all day without seeing each other. But you have a point. It's like going all day without seeing each other. And then, um, like that, that That moment of me coming down the aisle. So I, yeah, that is going to be something we need to figure out. I think you've always leaned towards not having a first look, right? I have. And I kind of take with what you just said. No, we might have just made a decision. Um, (laughs) Yeah, I just think it's more, I just think it's, it's a lot more special. I mean, you you really get the tears rolling then. It is. It is. And the pictures of Jay crying, like, come on, come on. (laughs) <laughs> Which did you guys watch the video of him watching our proposal yes, video? I did. I, I, did. I, I like did. look over and he's like, <laughs> and it's like his fourth time watching it. And <laughs> I'm like, chill, chill. <laughs> no, I'm it's super cute. Okay, yeah. do you have any like, like musts or like requirements for your wedding? Because I know when we were planning a wedding, I was like, obviously I'm primarily gluten and dairy free, so I was like, I want all the food to be gluten and dairy free. No one's gonna know it is, but like, I want it to be everything that yeah. I can eat. You know, is mm-hmm. there anything that like you guys are like these are hard yeses? Like it has to happen. No buffet. Yeah, that's one of our. No buffet. Things. Um, Why though? No. Yeah. That was more of your decision. Yeah, I just wondered if you <laughs> because you went into it too. I think like it. I want it to be an experience. And this is kind of, we looked at like a lot of Pinterest boards and Mm. all of that to what it would be like. And like having a place setting to where you're not just like walking through and like getting your own food. Like you get to almost like choose ahead of time, whatever. And yeah, I am gluten and dairy free. And I think a lot of people kind of are lately. So maybe um, at least having the option for that for everyone. So if they don't know that they are, they probably are anyway. You know what I mean? I I say that (laughs) every other day. Hmm. I'm like, it's not normal to have a stomach ache all the time. No. I could not agree more with you. Say. I think that is one thousand yeah. percent the way to go. Have a yeah. forced out meal. Yeah, you know, waiters can come and put it in front of you. You don't got to leave your like seat. Like an experience. I think it's totally an experience. Yeah. Where have you guys even found like a food vendor or anyone yet? We have to go back to Michigan. I feel like for that's that. gonna be a fun experience. Yeah. You know, getting like tastings to try and the stuff. Wine taste. I'm so excited. <laughs> for that. Yeah. And and Jay's just looking for only that red, red wine. wine. Red wine. <laughs> not only red wine. Mm. Now, I think that's all I'll taste. I mean, I don't really like whites. Are you guys going to do like, you know how people do like Taylor's drink and Jay's like, are you going to do a mocktail for yeah. you? And oh then, yeah, we, well, yeah, we just said that to our wedding planner the other day. We actually That'd had, so um, cute. there was something on the Pinterest board. Yeah. That, oh, he's looking um, at the Pinterest board. I know. On the Pinterest board. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but, Jay um, is dialed in. I'm <laughs> dialed in. I'm dialed in, but there was something that, yeah, it was just like that. It was like her drink. And then yeah. for the guy it had like whiskey, which I'll probably do. Yeah. Whiskey, whiskey and wine, old fashioned. Yeah, yeah I love that. Right there, old Doesn't fashioned. get better. Can, yeah, cannot go wrong with the old fashioned. That's for sure. Okay, I want to shift into like the behind the scenes of you guys' relationship because mm-hmm. obviously Sydney has a huge online presence. You have a massive online presence now too. You're growing. You guys are both in this influencer scene. Like people see a lot of you guys, but like do they see the behind the scenes, you know? And so I kind of want to start off by saying like, well, one, I'm curious, Jay, for you, not being the person who was like doing social media first, what was that like when you first started to date? Like, was there an adjustment period? Were you cool with it? Like, what is that like behind the scenes? Um, I was totally cool with her doing it. Like, there was never a question just because of, her her message and her reasoning for doing right. it. Right. You know, it's it's not the male attention. No. You know, she's not she's not trying to you know catch the attention. She's of, for the girlies. <clears throat> exactly <laughs> for for the girlies. And um, I think for the record as well, Jay is since day one. He's always had a fire social media game. Yes, you have. Yeah. But I think you've always had a fire social media game. I mean, I remember us like going back and forth, like, yo, this is going to be my caption. Yeah. Like, yo, that's uh-huh. a fire caption. <laughs> dog. Like, this is years before. You were built years. for this. Yeah. Like, Jay, yeah. But I just feel like when Sid came in, that's when you were like, I could really, I could really be serious with this. Like how yeah. did Sid help you take your social media to the next level? Yeah, it definitely flipped a switch. Um, before I, I always went back and forth with deleting it, mm. but then I just why I just wasn't I felt like I was in that you know headspace of like it's such a distraction for me. Got it. I don't need it, you know. But then like I, it was just me. Like I just wasn't. I was giving too much time to it. Like now it's just like sometimes I'll post something, set the phone down. I, I won't yeah. look at it for you know until the next day or something. Um, but the way the way it helped just kind of 
seeing the way that she was influencing others mm. and really like helping others. Mm -hmm. You know, her reading the messages that some of these girls are sending her. Mm. Hey, you, you, you changed my life. Right. Just by your influence, just by, you know, the stuff that you're doing and posting. So when I started to realize that, like, wow, okay, people are looking up to her. Um, she's using her platform to, you know, voice all this positivity. Mm -hmm. And it's actually changing people's lives. It really wasn't, it wasn't a question for me at that point because, like, I've, that's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah. I feel like it has been. Like, ever since we knew each other, like, you've always wanted to put yourself out there on social media. Like yeah. I said, you've always had a fire social media game. But I feel like Sydney coming into the into the mix really put your guard down and gave you an opportunity to just, like, just go. Just go. Like, just, just go. Put um, all your, you know, insecurities aside. Because if she's doing it like I can do it too. And that Absolutely. really just boom. And the bigger picture of truly, you know, inspiring and like mm -hmm. helping others. I mean, I, I've, I've always wanted to, to do that. I never know. I never knew how I was going to do that, but I always knew that I was like meant and made yeah. for that. So was there an adjustment period though? There was a yeah. huge adjustment period. Um, you guys know me. I, I'm, I'm fiery. You say something negative about me, you know, I'm ready to, you know, come back at you. Yeah. And, Pop off, and baby. You don't mess with Jay. Just reading, you know, the negative comments, especially, like, going mm -hmm. after her. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there, there's a few people in my life, like, you don't mess with. Mm -hmm. And her being one of them, and it's just, like, reading the negative stuff that people would say. Um, my first instinct is to, you know, go back. Who is this person? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to follow <laughs> yeah. them. Who, who do they comment think they back, are? Comment back, yeah, find their address. Where do they live? Yeah, like, all yeah. this type of stuff. So, like, that was the biggest adjustment, um for me just you know really trying to they're unhappy they're unhappy yeah, yeah. uh it's jealousy it, you really have to do that though you yeah. have to like oh, put absolutely. that dialogue in your head yes. over and over and you over you have to train yourself like okay yeah. like i mean whatever it, it is what i could go on and on about that that yeah. topic um but yeah that was the biggest adjustment for me was it and mm -hmm. i honestly don't remember what you thought about it like was it weird to start sharing so much more of your life because at first i said uh, you know, you're not, yeah, you're not you needing have to a conversation about that. Like, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Like, obviously question, this yeah. is you should be your, a podcast host. <laughs> yeah, like obviously this is, yeah. she is actually great at asking questions, even yeah. in conversation, Aww. but like, this is your platform. Yeah. And it's also probably new. How much of it do you want to share? Like, t what is that conversation? Oh, like? I hit him for a bit. I did. Yeah. I wouldn't show him. I, and it was when, you know, we first started hanging out. I was like, you know, I'm going to record like kind of, you know, get, or, get out. Or I would always go would in the be, other room. Yeah. yeah. I would never be in the same room. Yeah. When oh. She was. Yeah. Well, I mean, you go from not having the world watch you to the world watch you. And I have 98% women, Yeah, which is crazy analytics of people who are, are very interested in my life. And it's a girl gang of people, but they also, mm. um, they think they know me to my core to where the second you bring someone else in, I didn't know how they would react because right. how do you? And, and how can I expect someone to know how to show up on a social media platform and not feel uncomfortable or to show their like true sense of humor? Like if he came off weird and people were like, ah, he gives weird vibes. I don't right. like him. Like I just didn't even want to bring you into a world of, I know I get hate and I, right. I signed up for it a little bit, you know, yeah. I do this for a living, but I think, then it got so inconvenient because I was with you all the time. I'm like, I can't even hardly share much because you're such a big part of my life. So we had that talk and I think it was an adjustment of saying like these people, they want you to feed into their yeah. negative mm -hmm. negativity, but totally. the amount of positivity, like people yeah. loved him like right from the beginning. How could you and not? Exactly. <laughs> and like, they just were like, saying that I became a happier me and like they didn't mm -hmm. think that I could have like yeah. a happier presence and then he came along and like you could just tell it, I liked creating content more once you came along it was more like authentic because when you're doing it just you and the camera it's hard to show your true personality and everything mm -hmm. um but it was hard because it's like you've got to keep some things yourself right yeah Right. That was a, Tell me so this. Good. How often do you guys argue before before filming something? Because pretty much every single time we film something, there's like an argument or a bickering or something <laughs> going on, you so know? I think it's normal. Yeah, you can answer that it's one. It's normal. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say like before. Right. But it's when... I you take know, we're on the we're on the we're on the seventh take, and I thought the first seven were amazing, but they, they didn't look good to her. So here we are on the seventh one, and I'm just like... 
that that's when try I get to put little, on this face. Trying yeah. to put on this face like it didn't happen seven times already. Yeah, and you guys, I I can't. I wear my facial expressions like on my sleeve. Like yeah, you're, you're gonna yeah, see absolutely. how I'm feeling. So yeah. then it's hard for me to then fake it. Then I'm like, bro, I'm faking this right now. And yeah, that's the only time we really. But we really don't show that it. much. Like we really don't. We show like. You know, vlogs show you a couple restaurants mm-hmm. that you're going to and you see a glimpse of it. But we keep so much to ourselves that, uh, you know, we really just show them what we want them to see because yeah. it it's hard to have our like intimate time and I I struggle with that a little bit like what I do share and what I don't because you want the world to see your true self and you want them to see not just a surface level um of you and you you're human but also um when I'm having a hard day or when we're not like getting along about something or other like the last thing I'm gonna do is like put that out for the world to see like why would I um but also we don't really like do long form media to where people don't really like hear us that much. Right. They just kind of see glimpses of it. I yeah. Guess. yeah. Right. And I think you're also the kind of influencer, like th- everything should be positive. You yeah. don't want to bring right. anything negative into, no. into, who wants to hear about wants, that? We've got right. to, no, yeah, right. we, That's we've what got I'm enough saying. negativity, yeah. you know, so yeah. it totally makes sense. Like pick and choose what you show and what you show, you want it to be super positive and, in a great light and that's the way it should be yeah, yeah. i'm curious what are the things like before you guys record oh, we argue something? about everything like <laughs> no like it's what is just it just <laughs> this <laughs> angle how much time or? do we have yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean and i'm also like you jay like i wear my feelings on a sleeve Absolutely. you know and it's very hard for me to be like all right babe like all right <laughs> well really a lot of what it is is he works a nine to five job so mm-hmm. obviously like he from nine to five his head is in like work and corporate right. and all the things he has to do in his to-do list. And it takes him a good bit to like get out of that mode. So really it's like, it's probably my doing too. Cause I'm like, okay, babe, let's talk about the podcast. That's like, are you ready to film something? Like, let's do this TikTok. And he's like, I need to go take a walk or like, I don't know what day it is. Yeah. Like, you know, like my office is downstairs yeah. and I, like Amanda said, like, yeah, I've got this career where I'm trying to hit my numbers. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in cutthroat sales. Like I'm stressed yeah. a lot of the times because it's of more this- just like when I say I want to do something, it's done tomorrow. It has and to be. And he's right. more like, like, hey, like we- yeah, I'll do it. But then like won't show up and takes his time and drags his feet. And I'm like, oh my God, you know? Yeah. Yep. I think our thing is that I, um, I like to take a lot of photos, a lot of videos of things and you're like, be present, like be yeah. in the yes. moment. And you're very good about that. And I am, am working on it. I'm Was working that on it. something that yeah. you had to adjust to Jay? Like, Big time. Can you can you dive into that a little bit? Like yeah, you know, um, meeting a girl where and then understanding that her practically, you know, a lot of her life is on social media, a lot of her life is recorded. She likes to do that. That exactly. is her thing. She enjoys it. It's yeah. her job. And yep. you, you know, having a presence but not being as vulnerable, but then coming into this where everything is recorded. Like what was that like for you? Yeah. I've I've always been somebody like I, I never gay I never wanted people to like know like what I'm doing. Or, like, my next move of, like, any sort. Yeah. So, like, coming into it and really just kind of having the cameras up, uh, you know, at, at all times. It, I really had to, one, get comfortable with it and just kind of rid that whole thing of, like, oh, I don't want people to know what I'm doing. Like, whatever. Like, you know, this is our lives. Like, it, it puts a smile on her face. She enjoys it. And like, come to find out, like I actually enjoy it as well. Yeah. So, so it was like a time thing. It was, was like there ever t- like a big conversation of you were sort of uncomfortable, and Sid was like, "Look, do you got to take this or leave this?" No, never a conversation like that. Um, the only conversation we've had about it is um, just being a little more present. So mm-hmm. like, birthday dinner, you know, let, let's be present here. You know, let let's spend this one on one time. Um, our uh, weekly date nights. You know, let's really spend this one on one time. By the way, I think that's everyone. Like, even when we sit down for dinner after, you know, you get done from work and you want to sit there and scroll on your phone, I'm like, can you look at me with your eyes and let's have a conversation? Like, be present. I think everyone, I mean, listen with your eyes. We have such a distraction all the time. Like, I think it's just such a, you know, byproduct of our day and age. But I want to talk about your date nights. I want to talk about, because this is what's the recipe, we have some like food lingo questions that we must ask everybody. Mm -hmm. So, how do you guys spice things up? Talk to us about your date nights. Yeah. Yeah. I'll you go into that go a little ahead. bit. I have a very 
one track mind, very tunnel vision when it comes to work. And I think that's another kind of off of the last question is that being present, like sometimes you're like, okay, like you don't even, you don't even see what's going on around you. And so mm-hmm. it's very important to almost check me and say like, mm. you know, you're so in it and you're so focused on work. Like you didn't even realize that, you know, I think another thing that happened the other week was like, I said, Oh, do you, have you eaten yet? And you're like, I just ate oatmeal right in front of you. And right I'm, I'm thinking, it. Oh my gosh, like I'm just very focused. And if I'm not doing work, I'm thinking about work yep. and it's hard mm-hmm. to get out of that. And I, think it's because I love work and I think when you are passionate about it but also it leads to isolation and not Mm -hmm. being able to really connect with people so um I know this is a long answer to that but I kept telling you like I feel very isolated I feel very like on my own even though he's there all the time and he's doing all of the right things and it was actually because I my focus was in the wrong place and Mm -hmm. it was so you know you're there to tend to my needs but I'm not telling you what I need and I'm just like expecting you to read my mind but I'm also needing my space and it's just trying to figure out like how to communicate what we actually need to each other Mm. and how to show up for each other without and this is I'm not telling you we know it all at all. So we're still working on this like presently, but like actually learning to put work away and learning to put outside distractions away. And Jay's answer to that was we got to find a way to be present with each other. So I'm assuming then that date night was, you know, something that came out of this sort of friction of you trying to figure something out Mm -hmm. and maybe Jay you know, you can talk on that. Yeah. yeah, it was really, we, we spend so much time together, but like, not like together. Not intentional mm-hmm. time. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. So totally. like, we're there, but we're so like busy doing our own things and whatnot. Yep. Like we're in the same like room as each other. We could but, probably go a week without talking to each other. if we. Like, but we're really not focused on one try. another. Yeah. So it was just like, Hey, we need to find something, whether that's a, you know, nightly walk every night and you kind of just you know debri- you, you just talk about no your day phone, yeah. how yep. are you doing how was your day you know what's going on talk to me or you know the you can do that and then the weekly date night um we just really started trying to figure out ways because my way i, I love to enjoy a tv show at night mm-hmm. or something like that let's sit down and watch a show she she's not into tv yeah i'm not either so her thing you know she she wants to be in the bedroom like reading her kindle or something and we just had to figure out other ways to really, you know, get that, you know, one-on-one true time with mm-hmm. one another. How did date night stick? Like what, how did, how did you guys land on, we're going to go out to dinner once a night and, you know, share a meal with each other. Like, do how you did still that... make those itineraries? Cause those oh, we so do cute. here and there. Yeah. yeah. Normally we'll go to just one place, but sometimes we'll be like, okay, we're going to go here yeah, and here cute. and here. And, um, neither of us eat out during the week. We're very like stick to our stick to our diet kind of not even diet but like we like routine to be, yeah. yeah routine, routine. with that and um we don't eat meals together at home which i know is weird you don't? And we, no we don't no. and we eat at different times and like we're we're kind of in the same spot but like wait, 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 i, like I know dinner yeah i know <laughs> and it, i mean i think that we could probably hey look if it works it works but like out. this is your yeah. recipe yeah, yeah. This is that's exactly what we're saying it, it hasn't, recipe. this is yeah. what just works for the yeah. two of you yeah wait but that's so interesting like walk us through that yeah i eat at like 4:45 or 5 o'clock oh so you that's an earlier ass yeah. dinner that i'll tell you that much and jay is slowly creeping up she's having the early seven yeah he used to be like a 7 30 person and now you're up to six so before we know it like okay yeah be, you'll get on the same page it's creeping it yeah. is creeping improvement and is this because well, you wake up early yeah and i also like i just don't i don't like to eat like right before bed yeah. i think like it's just worked out for me that way and mm. um we really have never eaten dinner together since we started dating so it wasn't like a oh we're done doing this so it's just kind of all we know yeah um i think we've talked about once you have kids like i we really want Right. Even if it's not eating with the kids, like, eat, you know, prepare kids food and then mm. eat together and actually have that time. Because right now we can kind of cho- pick and choose where our intimate and like special time is mm-hmm. together. It doesn't need to be totally eating. And your date nights or the nights where you guys yeah. eat together yeah. and you have incredible connections chance to Absolutely. eat out. And, and is yeah. this totally different meals as well? Like you'll eat something completely different than Jay. No, yeah. we normally share half and half sometimes. Right. That's our, our weekly dinner. He's talking about. Oh, sorry. Just just sort norm- yeah, normal. Yeah, just your normal. Night. Oh, completely. Like, yeah. Yeah, different. Totally 445 different is something Completely. way different than what I'm having. <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah. it works. But I mean, 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not eating ground turkey and rice and right. hot sauce. Yeah. What yeah. about the shrimp? Is Jay still cooking out the shrimps? No, no shrimp. The shrimp. He, and chicken and ground turkey. I will say, turkey. Jason, I have always re- known Jason to cook his own meals. Yeah. yeah. I've always respected that about him. Yeah. He is always whipped up a meal for himself. That is such a bro yeah. dinner, though. Bro. Ground oh. turkey. <laughs> and every time bro he says, dinner. oh, literally bro dinner. And he also, every single time, says, nothing beats it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like without feeling like every sauce. single does time. not get old. Drown in hot sauce. Can't forget the hot. What's your hot? What's your uh, go-to hot sauce? Frank's. Frank's. Because you're either Frank's. Red, Frank's is good. You know, Frank's, Frank's is good. Red hot. Frank's red Frank's hot. Frank's red hot. So, give you guys the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, ground turkey, jasmine rice, avocado, sugar-free syrup, and then red hot. But, um, the hot sauce. Wait, what Franks. do you mean sugar-free syrup? Yeah. Like maple it syrup? It like maple. a little, yeah, little sweet. Does it's it like, like the, the hot the, sauce. Yeah, the, the spicy. Syrup. Yeah. Then, I mean, it's like the perfect mush. I it really is mush. And it's that is mush. why we I eat separate mush. <laughs> do you keep the avocado cold in like yes. your fridge? Yeah. Dude, cold avocado, cold avocado is the way to go. Scoop it out and then yes. uh, put the, the knife through it, get it all Absolutely, mushy. absolutely. So good. Okay, shifting gears. I want to talk a little bit about like career more because... I think one thing that we really want to highlight is like success is so accessible for so many people, but the, what I don't like about it is like it's on social media and just like in media, it's portrayed as overnight. So, so much of the time when that's so not the case, like there are failures, there are trials and tribulations. There are things that happen that, you know, get you to that success. So one of the questions we really want to ask all of our guests is, tell us about a time that you burned the dish. Like, tell us maybe about a time where maybe you failed or like you had to learn from something or you had to pivot and try something else. So, I mean, you could both answer separately, yeah. but I'm just curious. Like, tell us about a time that you burned the dish. Yeah. I'll, you, I'll go first. Um, for me, it was really, I think, so my first job, I used to sell solar panels and um, nothing against it, but I just felt like I was just, one kind of, you know, burnt out of it, um, looking for a new path. Um, this was door to door. This was right? door to door. So rough, good old rough. Nothing, baby. Um, I do, I do really, I, I thank myself for doing that. Um, I learned a lot about myself during that time and I grew so much. So, um, thank you to door to door sales. But then, <laughs> oh, then I got sure. into real estate and it's funny enough, like another time within real estate, I really just kind of burnt the dish as well. Uh, for me, it was just like running around stir crazy uh, for people who were just looking. So I never wanted to kind of, you know, short myself and not work with people. But I really had to take a step back and kind of get very selective mm-hmm. with, you know, the people that I wanted to work with. Um, so that's kind of, I guess. Like you just working with anyone who was possibly in the market, you like overworking yourself. You, you text me, way. you call me, you say that At you're in hours. the market for a home. And you're there. I'm on it. Um, driving Why? Why countless do you think that is? hours. Just really, honestly, like searching for the next deal. Hungry. Just, just not hungry. Just wanting, trying not to, you know, just like let anything slip through yeah. the cracks. But that led to burnout. And then you're That led to burnout and me absolutely starting to hate yeah. um, right. real estate. And just anyone like... That would hit me up about it. I would just like question it. Like, oh, am I about to go drive, you know, six hours in two days for you? And you're not <laughs> even going to buy anything. I mean, yeah. <laughs> sounds right, so like selfish. You counted yourself but, out oh. before you even got there. Exactly. And I think that you're not going to be able to hate your way into it. Yeah. And you've learned job. to be incredibly selective now. So your selective. success and win rate is much higher. Right. Also shifted your mindset, though, because now you're like, oh, I've got to call it six. And then you're like, nope. I, and you, so I think you check yourself a lot yeah. more and you're like, I have no clue what's going to come from this. Exactly. I'm go into it with a good headspace. Had a, had a call yesterday, just got off the plane. I'm like, oh, this is the last thing I want to do. You know, you know what? No, I, I want to take this. Yeah. You know, the, shifted it, that mindset. Selective. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that this person is, you know, they're good for it. You know, they're not wasting my time. Boom. Got on the call. He's ready to, you know, go ahead and write an there offer. There you go. Love it. So, yeah. That, yeah. That's how it was. I guess oh, you want me to go into my yeah go then? for it yeah I um so I was personal trainer in college right and then um I I kind of made a name for myself in although you don't make much in like a a gym in a you know a commercial gym you're making a very small percentage to what the the yeah. gym is making um but I started 
getting a little bit of word of mouth, taking them outside, kind of building my own little business outside uh-huh. of it and training them out of my apartment gym outside, whatever it is. Getting and then COVID. So you took the yeah. clientele. I so, but, it. but not from the gym, the gym people would talk yeah. about it on social media and then people like kind of yeah, yeah, honestly yeah. got me into, wow, people can really like build a business off word of mouth. But, um, I started taking like people from outside. I wouldn't say like, come to the gym. I'd take them, you know, right. cause they weren't, found to the gym long story short when COVID hit I I had nothing I was like I'm not gonna make any money people are scared to even meet in person like so you were still personal training now? when COVID hit yes I was in college I graduated in December 2020 okay so, so we graduated same year yeah so I had started posting a lot more on social media kind of during that time my last little bit of college and then when COVID hit I still hadn't even gotten to my last semester but I started taking these people outside you know training outside. But then when COVID hit, I needed to do online coaching. But I remember a lot of people asked me, okay, well, what do you want to do after college? And I was like, I I really like personal training. Like it doesn't make that much. I know I'm going to school for marketing and I'm like out of state tuition, all of that. I know it doesn't sound like a glamorous answer, but like, I love it so much that I want to do it despite how little I'm making in the gym. Okay. Long story short, I ended up having hardly any clients had to go back to babysitting and Mm. not great when you're in your senior year of college, like what's going to happen after that. And then I started trying to get those clients to do online coaching, started just posting all sorts of stuff on social media and building that, but, um, moved in with the family that I was babysitting for. I kind of was like, okay, if I'm going to make this work, I'm going to make it work. We're going to like really grind. And I think now even starting dating you, like it's easy to see the end result and not that this is the end, but like, it's easy to see the glamor side of this and like to see the, Mm -hmm. um, okay, I've kind of, I can kind of sit back and enjoy a little Mm -hmm. bit more than what I could then. And at that point it was like, you know, my AC in my car's out. I need to pay for my AC to get fixed. Like it was, it was a very different lifestyle at that point. Um, and I think it's easy to see like, okay, it's all worked out. Same with real estate, same with like, you know, coaching and all the things now Mm -hmm. you almost forget what you had to do to get there. hundred percent. And this is before, you know, the million followers off of, you know, across all of your social media platforms. This is, this was the grind. How do you even like quantify that though in your head? Like I have almost a million followers. Yeah. It's so, my dad, I actually was driving to pick you guys up from your bike ride and my dad called and he said, Oh, someone just ran into me and said that they recognized me that I was your dad. And he said, it's just crazy that you have, you know, uh, he said the same thing and it is crazy. I said, and I said back to him word for word, I'll never get used to it. I really won't because it's so wild that like in a couple years, um, and it's such a community, like, wouldn't you say like people come up and they're just the nicest people ever that it is, it's from all different places. We can be anywhere. Like I was in the Bahamas and ran into someone like, it's just, um, and yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's a testament to, to what, you know, social mm-hmm. media can do and just the Absolutely. online presence. and it could But also what she's done and what yeah. she's well, built. I was getting there. Oh, sorry. Like, it all stemmed from, like, your hard-ass Let's talk about me. Work. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It all stemmed from your hard-ass no, work. No, I am. But from it's from so new. It's a crazy story. Yeah. Crazy it's, story. It's all and you. Like she was saying, I mean, people, they just see now. And yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah. Like they that's, didn't see you living in with the, is, you know, yeah. the family that you babysat for. Yes. Being like, Everyone right. sees it. My like it's like that. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's, it's just not. like, you know, the people that do say the hurtful things like, you know, it'd probably make you tear up if you heard, you know, what she had to go through. Right. You know, to mm-hmm. get to where she's at. So, yeah, I'm super, super proud of her. Oh, thank you. And actually, it makes you appreciate it so much more. Yeah. And yeah. it makes you. um I will say, although like, yeah, it took consistency and it took a lot of, um, you know, hard work, vulnerability, Mm -hmm. but also it, yeah, it also is just a matter of taking advantage of the opportunities that you're given because, you know, I'm not any different than the next girl who was a senior in college and is babysitting because she can't pay her rent. But I'm willing to show sides of me that are, are real and are, you know, also motivating to work harder in your life and to take care of yourself. And I think same for you. Like you had all of that within you when we first had that first conversation. You're like, I would love to be an online or I would love to be a fitness coach. That's one of my dreams. But I, you know, went with real estate and I said, it's so not too late. And yeah. like mm-hmm. for anyone like it really yeah. if right. you feel it's that there's not a coincidence yeah exhausting rec- recording your life and ed- all the editing and like yeah. you know in your early stages i'm sure you have someone do your editing now but like 
you know, it's, I think it's very easy for someone to be like, all right, I'm going to do this, do it for a couple of weeks, realize that like, this is a lot of work, yeah. but you were like, no, yeah. I am going to stay mm-hmm. persistent with this. So yeah. you deserve every follower that you have. Thank and you. And here's 1 million, <clears throat> excuse me. Like, let's go to two, three, four, five. Let's yeah. take over the world. Oh, you know, editing. Boom, boom. I know you know that. I mean, I still spend a couple hours a day editing. TikTok editing yeah. is also a lot. It is something else. Yeah, I think I think so. You can talk more on that a little bit. But just like the mm. shift of taking advantage of your opportunities, I guess. Like with real estate, you take advantage of posting on social media and you've made a lot of connections. And also like... It's not for everyone, social media, but when I say that, I'm not just talking about social media. I'm talking about, like, if you want something and you're passionate about it, it, not my passion, like, whatever your passion is, you can go after it. What did everyone give uh, Kim Kardashian hate for when she was like... Oh, she said, just get your effing ass up and work. That... Simple as that. Well, okay. Yeah. Here's the thing, though, is I think that so many people in their 20s have this, like like you said, oh, I'm too late. I missed the boat. Mm-hmm. I should have done this earlier, and, I, and now I can't do it because, you know, I'm 27, 28, 28, whatever it is, whatever the number is, even in your 30s. It's like, like you were saying about that 6 p.m. call that you got. It could be as little as that. Right. But that's what you're saying is taking advantage of every opportunity. It doesn't yeah. have to be in social media or real estate or whatever it is. It can just be as simple as like going and getting that coffee with that person that mm-hmm. DM that DM you. Making be, that connection. It could be a substitute teacher seeing the principal and the principal being like, you want to go grab a coffee? The substitute teacher saying, yeah, sure. And then after that conversation, hired as a full-time hired. teacher. Absolutely. Exactly. Small little moments like that. I was yep. like, wait, where are you going? Well, <laughs> and Did it come together? <laughs> yeah. Really no, it, it really does. <laughs> yeah. I was like, substitute Jay's teacher like, being Lucas, taken what? out to coffee by <laughs> yeah. the principal. What I'm saying. And like, now they're engaged. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But also, yeah, having the confidence in yourself and building that no matter what you're doing. And even if you don't have like this glamorous resume to show the world that you have, but like also knowing that, you know, you're qualified and that yeah. you can bring to the table. Yeah. To the table. What's the recipe? I know. To the table. Bring it to yeah. the table. <laughs> I, one question though, that I, I want to ask you specifically, Sydney, you said you were a marketing major. Do you think that mm-hmm. helped you when it comes to like social media? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have always like loved, even in high school, I loved marketing and business. So like, I think that my mind just works that way. And like, I am even interested in the side of like when businesses reach out, like I love and companies reach out. It's cool to see like what goes on behind the scenes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And also just knowing like what reaches your target audience and knowing like I, one thing that we had to do was for Manscaped. I like accepted a brand deal for Manscaped. Had so much anxiety. Like I was losing sleep over. I'm like, this is not my target audience. Like this is <laughs> so strange. Um, and they told me I had to do like below the belt. Like it had to be talking about like below the belt shaving. Right. And I literally couldn't, I was about to throw up. I'm like, no, nah, this is not for me. <laughs> Whatever. Were you um, with Jay at the time? Yes, we were with Jay. So uh, we use it as a uh, mustache, mustache yes, shaver. Yeah, so he lost his mustache. Yeah. Perfect, perfect we made pivot. it work I but knowing product, your target but, audience because if yeah, my target audience exactly. was like what yeah no, we were just talking about yeah. the product Man, no, but that's great Im- product they're not sponsoring this so we're not <laughs> going to talk about that but the, that's that's a really great point too because I think I'm sure because when I was doing more mindset and wellness coaching things I had a lot of women who followed me who wanted to be a health coach a mindset and wellness coach I'm sure you have a lot of people who follow you who want to be either a a personal trainer, a fitness coach, or an influencer. And I think that's a really good tip is like knowing your target audience or knowing who your follower is interacting with them. Like, I think that that's so crucial for people to know. Yeah, Yeah, I agree. And also just realizing that you're not going to reach everyone and that you're not, no one's not, everyone's going to love you and what you talk about so yeah and being okay with that I also think it's a lot of like throwing spaghetti at the wall in the beginning for even for like anything but I think in your 20s it's about like having the the willingness to like try new things try different things and fail over and over burn the dish so that you get to that like successful meal at the end of the day yeah I think Jay you're also a pretty solid testament to that because you have done so many different things and so many like different careers like We've had a couple jobs together. Then you went knocking doors on solar. And you guys had jobs together? Yeah, we yeah. sold. We uh, served? we uh, served tables. Served. Oh yes, yes, yes. Shout out to the vineyard that's no served longer there. The but vineyard. That shout place out. was popping off. Yeah, worked for Amazon, delivered packages. Yeah, during oh COVID, like, door to door sales. Um, How did you find and create what you've created now? Like, what brought you to the point where, like, you were just you know on on the bike ride just 
today saying how you went from, you know, a college athlete that was in really good shape. Right. Mm -hmm. But now you're, you're in the best shape you've ever been in, in your life. Right. How did you get to this point? Um, started being a little more mindful with the things I was putting in my body and just being mindful with like, you know, the daily movement, just taking care of myself really. Um, back in, you know, college, obviously, you know, a lot of workouts, you know, we ate whatever we, we could get our hands on. So I just feel like now, nowadays, like I'm able to eat, you know, the organic and yeah, I, I, I think before I act, absolutely. And you know, that's every morning making sure I get my workout in and I don't negotiate with myself mm. whatsoever. Sure. That is the biggest thing. Um, if I tell myself I'm going to run four miles, I'm going to, I'm going to complete the four miles. Yeah. It's no like, Oh, well, you know, I said I was going to run four, but I guess I'll just do two. That that's one of the biggest things. Like if you say you're going to work out tomorrow, you say you're going to wake up at 5 a.m., get up and do it. Yeah. I mean, right after, like you're going to feel so much it better. It builds confidence. Is that you're something you had to learn? Like, did you, was there a point in time where you did negotiate with yourself? Slightly. I've always been really, really self-disciplined. You really have been. Yeah. And I, I, I thank sports um, and all my college, you know, coaches and just high school coaches. I, I really thank them because I, I've, I don't think I just built this discipline just out of nowhere. So, um, yeah, there was a time though. I mean, I would just, Oh, I'll sleep in a little bit, hit the snooze button or, um, I, I, I'm not going to go run. I don't feel like it. So just really snapping out of that and just actually doing what you say you're going to do. Well, it kind of blows the ceilings off of like what you think your capability is. You know what I mean? Like we all have a ceiling for ourselves, but when you wake up and you say, I'm going to run four miles and then you actually do the four miles and maybe you do 4.2. Yeah. It's like, Oh, okay. Now what can I do? And it gives you that confidence. It shows you that you're so much more capable of what you think that you are. You know? Yeah. And it's just like, just like this morning, like Jay knew we were going on a multiple mile bike ride. Right. And you're still like, text me in the morning. Hey, I'm finding a gym right now because I got to get my workout in. I'm like, bro, we're about to like 20 (laughs) miles, my man. Like, yeah, I got got to do it. And it's more so like it it is such a habit and it's such a part of my lifestyle like I can't, I can't not do you're it. You're not you that day if you don't. Exactly. Do it. it's like, yeah. Exactly. And, and I'm it's, sure when you're traveling a lot too, being in different cities, that kind of brings you. No matter what city you're in, that like brings you home. For yeah. A little bit. Like, and it's fun. The my playground is going to different cities and yeah. seeing the different gyms. Yeah. I like. I love it. I love yeah. it. Like tomorrow, I'm already thinking like, okay, let me look up the gyms nearby. <laughs> First, we need a place yeah. to start. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, no, (laughs) wrapping up, because we could sit here and talk for probably hours more, but... Okay, did you have, like, a few last... The little questions that you wanted to do? No, it's fine. We can... Well... No? Not the little questions? I I don't have a... My phone's over there. It's like a little... Okay. (laughs) Well... Again, I feel like we could talk each other's ear off. So thank you guys so much for coming on. Absolutely. Is there anything that like is coming up for you too that you want to plug or like where can people find you if they don't already know about you? But I'm pretty sure everyone everyone knows about you guys. But, but. if they don't know about you, where can they find you? And if and then anything- what's yeah? What is what do you guys want to plug? Yeah, um, I have uh, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, TikTok and yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Facebook, and it's Sydney M Master. Adams <laughs> underscore, and then your. Um, media. yeah, I am Jason, J A Y S O N underscore K. Yeah. And some, my TikTok has a two at the end as well. So yeah. Give our people yeah. a follow. And no, all we can expect so from you guys. Uh, you know, we'll just follow along with what we've got coming up here. <laughs> but got something really, cooking. this is awesome that we could do this because we've been talking about it for a long time. And I was telling Jay, it's just not the same when you do a Zoom one. And no, it's you know, not. We tried thinking that we were going to do that and tried to figure out yeah. a date. And it's just so awesome to be in the same space with y'all. Yeah, we're everything. so happy you're out in, in Denver. And, yeah. um, you know, always love seeing you guys and could not thank you enough for being yeah. here. Absolutely. And if you're watching on YouTube or listening at home, follow What's the Recipe Pod on Instagram and TikTok. And we'll see you next time. This episode's 86. You stole my life. <laughs> 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 Bye, guys. See y'all.